first tutorial. I'm actually super excited. Um, my makeup looks a little iffy right now because it is the end of the day. And also you get to see how it ends with all the primers and stuff. And um, also it's been raining. And so um, it's not supposed to look like this. <laughs> but it is. But after like a long stressful rainy day. But um, thank you for tuning in. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Bye guys. All right, so we're gonna jump right into it. And first time using my CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation in 320 Soft Sable. Usually I use L'Oreal's Infallible, and I do not remember what number it is, but I will also put that in the link below. They both of them basically give me the same coverage, but I will probably say that L'Oreal's Infallible probably gives me more of a matte finish, and I am also blending this in with my coastal sense buffer brush and before I put on my foundation I moisturize my face with clean and clear dual action moisturizer and I prime my face with hard candies 12 hour power primer I think that's the name of it and now I am just using what am I using <laughs> LA girls pro conceal in the color chestnut and I'm using that under my eyes and down the bridge of my nose and on my forehead and above my lip to kind of like you know we get those like little hairs I wouldn't say mustaches but little hairs and to give a little brightness to my face I uh, put little dabs dab of uh, <laughs> fawn on top of that concealer under my eye and I'm just using your basic little beauty blender sponge from Real Techniques. It was from Walmart. And, okay, blending that. Make sure you blend that well because I'm, I know I, get a, I put a good bit under my eyes. And I just got to, like, keep pressing and pressing and pressing and until it's fully blended. And... Worst, pers worst part about recording with your phone is it is not stable. And so my phone fell and it did not get the part of me using the air spun powder, loose powder, in Honey Beige 070-32 to set my under eye concealer and set all the places that I put concealer. And one way that I try to do a little finesse with contour is I don't use a dark shade uh, in the hollows of my cheeks I just make sure to put that light uh, setting powder under my natural contour that looks like I actual I actually did contour and now I'm just putting on my lashes and I use duo duo lash glue and I use the black lash glue to kind of look like I use eyeliner but I, I sometimes I use top eyeliner in future videos you will see me use it but today was not one of those days and before I put on my lashes as well I put on the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara on my lashes to prep them and one easy way to put on your lashes is like it's, this is a really good view and I'm glad I got this because you guys from the view you guys have you get to see how like close you need to put the lash on and also like what I'm looking at is uh, I apologize for my eyes too out of frame right there but what I'm looking at is I'm looking down onto my makeup compact to get a good view of my eye and then I just slowly Rise, have it rise above my eyelash and I slowly just drop it on top of my the roots of my lashes as close as I can get it there and now I'm just using Wet n Wild's eyeliner it's a good cheap eyeliner I think it's about 98 cents but also put in the comments any like makeup that I did not put in the description bar which you would like for me to put in there and now um, I think I got this pink brush set from Amazon once and so I still use the brush to this day and now I'm just using my MAC powder foundation in NW48 it is the studio fix 
and I'm using that to sweep away my setting powder and to also blend in everything else and now my face looks like I have been hit with cold wind and it is drier than turkey at that one friend's house <laughs> and now I um I actually had a little brush kit from Forever 21 and I put a little bit of CoverGirl's Cheekers blush on my cheeks and the shade I use, excuse me, is Plum Plush. And now I am putting on my highlighter. And the highlighter I use is Wet n Wild Fergie in the color A044 Rose Golden Goddess. And as you see, I put it on my cheekbones, on the nose of my bridge, on the bridge of my nose. Um, the little line above your lip, like it doesn't have to like spill over like mine did a little. And just the tip of your lip right there and then I made sure to do my inner corners and then under my eyebrow as well and now I'm just using my MAC false lashes mascara from my under eye lashes and sometimes I use it to blend my lashes with my natural lashes excuse me natural lashes but sometimes it just depends on what kind of mood I'm in that day or if I'm in a rush or anything but I kind of just go back and forth and use them in the same duration. The Better Than Sex and the MAC Mascara. It doesn't really matter. Both of them work very well. Especially with my bottom lashes. And also, if you are interested in the eyebrow and shadow tutorial, those are both going to be separate. They'll be together, but they will be a separate video. I didn't want to make this too long. And this is the final look. Thank you guys so much. And also what you did not see me record is me spraying on the Hard Candy fitting Finish Spray and using also, my ColourPop. Also, comments your opinions. Um, any more ideas because I really want to get this channel like going and popping like that. Boop. And so like comments would really help me right now. And just let me ask what you want to see more of and uh, what type of looks you need help with. And like while I'm like this low-key YouTuber, I can help do makeup and stuff. And then later on, maybe I can evolve. But yeah, just the comments are open. Don't be ashamed of what you want to ask because I will answer almost anything pertaining to beauty.